Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning back in. Today I've got a really good little tip out of my little secret tackle box. Not really sure why I'm sharing it with you, but guys, as I've said before, this channel's all about being open. So I'm giving it away. And what I want to talk about today is a little micro finesse swim jig that I make. Uh, it's killer on spotted bass. It's killer on smallmouth. It catches tons of largemouth, but generally I'm using it for smallmouth and spotted bass just because of the way I build it and the way I fish it. But it works on everything. It's just a normal finesse presentation with a small swim bait like this 2.8 power swimmer, or if you're a Kitech guy, a little Kitech. Um, it takes a small swim bait, bulks it up a little bit, gives it a little bigger presentation. And it's something that the fish haven't seen that are getting pressured with these small swim baits. And it generally gets a little bit better quality bite too, which is one reason I like it. So I'm going to show you how to build my micro finesse swim jig. And yeah, I probably shouldn't be sharing this one, but there's no secrets. So, all right, guys, this is what you need. So this is how I build it. You do what you want, I guess, but this is, this is how I do it. Get yourself some of the Dirty Jigs Matt Stefan guppy heads in whatever size that you like. This is the 3 aught 3 16 size. That's my favorite size all around. Uh, it works. It You can throw a 2.8 on the 3 aught hook. Generally, I'm going with a 1 aught hook with the 2.8. But in this case, I like to have the 3 aught hook because I'm bulking the bait up a little bit. And I'm losing a little bit of my hook length. So what I'll do with this is I'll put this in my vise and lock it in there. So I've got some skirt material, leftover skirt material. So I'm not making a big bulky swim jig. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This is one that I've already built. This is just a small guppy head. Right now it's got a 2.8. Uh, this is the Kitek on there. So you can see it's not by any means a big bulky swim jig. Let's see if I have one I can compare it to. So this is a normal dirty jig swim jig. This is my little one. So you can see it's a much smaller compact bait. I mean, that's a, that's a 2.8 swim bait on the back. Okay, so you take your you take your matte stuff and dirty jigs guppy head, put it in your vise or however you want to hold it. Now what I like, one of the things I really like about this is I can take uh, like scrap material and use that. So this is not a tab. That's all scrap material that I've saved and cut off other baits from other projects. So in this case, I'm just going to take it, wrap it on. Kind of spread it around the swim bait head. Take my thread. And I'm just gonna tie it, get a few wraps going and tie it tight. Okay, so now I've got my thread tied on. I'm gonna cut off my tag end. I'm gonna cut off my main line. All I did was do a couple overhand knots. Now I'm gonna just cut back some of the loose strands that I don't want, which is going to be those tail ends, the ends coming back. So I don't, when I tie it, I just tie it so that the majority of the the skirt material is hanging forward. I don't tie it like you would uh, with a normal swim jig where you're gonna have a full strand coming under the 
the collar and a full strand over the collar. I do not want that in this case. Okay, take a dab of super glue. Get locked into place. So you can see with the one that I've already finished, one really nice thing about this is on the on the guppy head you've got cone keepers you can get all of that skirt material and you're not in the top cone so the cone the ridge between the top cone and the head so you're only really losing like it's probably a sixteenth of an inch of your cone keeper so it still holds great it does not slip at all and you're gonna end up with this the last thing I do and I'm just waiting for this to dry for just a second we can do it now I'm sure so I'll just take that material and I'm gonna trim it back just a little bit. I like to trim it back to about where the hook is. Just because I'm not, I'm not looking to uh, create, you know, a big bulk, but when you put your small 2.8 swim bait on the back, so we're gonna thread that up now. Okay guys, there you have it. There's another completed little finesse swim jig with a 2.8 on the back. Uh, I'll take it down to the river and show you just how it runs. Okay guys, here is my micro finesse swim jig, 2.8 swim bait on the back with a 3-06 ounce guppy head by Dirty Jigs. Just a totally different approach to a simple swim bait. Use it the same way you'd normally would. Just a killer. So as you can see guys, this little swim bait in the water is a killer little bait. It's something I've been doing for a couple of years now and I've caught some really nice fish on it. Big smallmouth, big spotted bass. It, the key to it, again, is that you're fishing a traditional little swim bait uh, in the same manner. It has really no effect on bait presentation, but you get a little bit of extra flare from the skirt. It's still a super compact little bait, and it's just a killer, guys. You fish it the same way. It's not, it's not meant to be like a traditional swim bait that's worked through the grass or worked, uh, you know, through laydowns and that type of thing because of the style head I've got it on. You know, Dirty Jigs makes a great finesse swim jig already that's a more compact bait. This is just, you know, tinier compared to that, but that other finesse style swim jig, it's still got a weed guard on it, it's still meant to be fished through grass, through laydowns, that type of thing. This is meant to be finish, fished in open water uh, or areas you would fish a normal small swim bait on, you know, with an exposed hook. I fish it on the same tackle. This is just, uh, well, this is eight pound test, but I'll throw it on six, eight, or 10 pound, 100% Berkeley fluorocarbon. And in this case, this is one of my favorite swim bait rods that I build. This is the MHX SJ9000. Uh, it's a seven and a half foot, super lightweight rod. It allows me to cast these baits a mile. And in this case, this is just the Abby Garcia Revo Extreme one of my absolute favorite spinning reels made. It's an extremely high-end reel, guys. Um, and I'm I'm just fortunate, fortunate enough to be able to use them, but they are fantastic reels. So that's what it comes down to. Those are my bait. That's my finesse swim jig that I make. Micro finesse swim jig is what I call it. And uh, that's how I use it, guys. So if you get the chance, put a couple together and you'll see what I'm talking about. Really easy to do. You just need a couple of strands skirt material you need a dirty jigs guppy head 
and some thread and super glue. Thanks for watching. New tips coming out every day.